chatting a lot. You meet a lot of people. You have a lot of really interesting conversations. And there's uh, some buddies I've talked to that don't ride. They've never been on a bike. Or they, they have and it just wasn't for them. Or they've never raced. So they have a lot of questions about the process and racing and all of that. The rules and regulations. Tim Westmoto, let's go have some fun. I'll definitely do it again. Well, I don't know all of the rules. I'm trying to follow the ones I do know. It's, it's pretty hard to, to break the rules. All you gotta do, stick to the trail. Don't be an asshole. Basically, the people that don't race, that have questions about racing, uh, the etiquette, the rules and regulations, what uh, they should do when they get out there and what they shouldn't do. But one person comes into mind in particular, I was having a conversation with him. Uh, he, he's been on bikes before. Uh, he's not a, an avid rider. He doesn't own any of them. He, is, he doesn't ride. He's never raced. He's been around him enough to ask questions and to have an opinion. One thing we were talking about the other day was how you treat people when you pass them or when they pass you um, or if you're stuck behind a slow rider. I was told that if this person were to get a bike that he would win every race. Every race, without a doubt. Hands down, he would win. A lot of people I've talked to that came in and started racing have uh, this complex about, oh, I've been on bikes for X amount of years. I'm going to win. It's easy. You guys need to go faster. You need to be tougher. You got to hit that jump harder. You got to do this. You got to do that. They always have an opinion. Then to get out there, in reality, it's, it's tough. It is a hard sport. You're not going to win your first race. Most, most of the people will not win their first race. <laughs> Some guys jump out there uh, their first season, they do great. But a majority of people, I'm just talking people in general, it's not, that's not the case. So anyways, this guy was saying, he was saying that uh, basically he's going out there and he's going to be the dirtiest rider of them all. He's going to kick people off their bikes. He's going to push them out of the way. Listen to this. He's going to throw stuff at people. <laughs> so I, in the middle of this conversation when uh, when he was saying all this stuff, I had to stop him and I said, okay, I'm coming in mid-pack throughout this season. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can't find time enough to grab the hose from my water pack to stick it in my mouth to get a drink. So, uh, as some of you have seen, I have uh, the extension cape that goes on the side of your helmet, comes around, shoots in the face of your helmet, goes into your mouth. That way it's always sitting in front of your mouth. If you need a drink, there it is. So you don't have to worry or figure out a, a way to get that hose in your mouth when it's dangling down you know, in front of your chest. So, so I brought this up to him. For one, how are you going to find time to take your hands off the handlebars when you're trying to stay focused in a race while you're winning, right? Because he said he was going to win. While you're winning, and throw stuff at people. Now, some guys are extremely talented. Okay, maybe you can do that. Maybe you can. You, maybe you can ride with no hands. I don't know how you're going to do that, but maybe, you, let's say you can. Where are you going to put this stuff that you're going to throw at people? Where, where's it going? You got a backpack? <laughs> That's added weight. So anyways, it is an amusing conversation. I expressed to this person, um, basically, nobody is like that out there. Every now and then you get a guy that will come by and, and will try and clip you or, or kind of push you out of the way. Not really intentional, or if it's intentional, it's not a, a guy that's going to just basically throw something at you, yell at you, scream at you, and push you off your bike. It's not the kind of people that go to these races, and not, it's not the kind of riders that are in these races. And that one of the reasons why I love that series so much because it's 
very family oriented. Uh, you can't meet a, a greater group of people than fellow riders. If you were to go out there and, and play dirty, start kicking people or throwing stuff, I'm pretty sure you would be deducted a lot of points. And if you're caught, you will definitely be disqualified. So I'm really trying to get them to go out and get a bike. Uh, 125, 250, a 450, whatever he wants. We'll get him on a 450 in the woods. <laughs> on his first bike, his first time in the woods, racing on a 450. So, I really want to get him on a bike and get him out there and have him go through that experience just once. And he, and he's, and he's saying, uh, I just all kinds of crazy, crazy. He's, anyways. And he's not the only one that said this. There, there's been multiple people saying, uh, they've watched my videos, saying, man, you need, to, you need to do this, or you need to do that. Why don't you try doing this? These guys have no idea what they're talking about. And the majority of them have no experience on bikes. I'm not saying I don't take people's opinions into consideration. If you have experience, if, uh, if even if you're a C-class rider like me, and you have tips, anything I'll talk to you about it and I'll consider all of it but if you've never been on a bike I'm not gonna listen to you <laughs> unless you're a, a mechanic or something then I'll ask opinions about things or I'll take your opinion into consideration but if it comes to riding uh, the video is supposed to be about rules and regulations and I've gone off talking about etiquette and how to treat people which to me are the rules and regulations now, there's a distance you're supposed to go or you're not allowed to, to leave, you know, away from the trail. I think it's like 20 feet. Um, if, you have a, if you're going around a corner, you can't cut and cross from trail to trail to cut the corner out. You're not supposed to do that, and I do know that. There's a lot of people that do it, um, but I'm not one of them. If, if you follow an arrow system, single arrows, those, those are the ones you want to stay within 20 feet of, uh, but the trail goes right by them, so you can stick to the trail the whole entire, the whole course, for the most part, from what I've raced. Double arrows, there's two on each side, you gotta go right between them, you can't cut outside of them. Once again, there's a lot of people that, that do that, a lot of people that, that cut track and that, uh, kind of, I don't really want to call it cheating. I need it. 